Hey guys, it's QuickSnap2011. This is just going to be a real quick tutorial on how to get an app called AppDroid. Um, it enables you to get nearly, well, it's pretty much, it's a Play Store. You get all the apps for free though. First of all, you want to head off to your settings. Go to uh, where you have the main page. You can go down to oh, Personal Security. You'll go down to here. It says Unknown Sources. Obviously, that'll be unticked. What you want to do is you tick it. It'll warn you that it can your tablet and personal data is vulnerable to attack from apps from unknown sources. Obviously, because you're not downloading them off the Play Store. Uh, and what you do, I'm gonna go to Google. Uh, I'm gonna open a new tab and I'm gonna search for something called App Droid. There you go. So the top one there, App Droid download paid apps for free. You want to just hit that bar. Oh, it's not really. Oh, there you go. Um, and it says there, you can use this this um page, but you can just click try our Android app, and it will come up with this page. You just hit download. It'll come up with that file. You just click OK. There we go. It's going to come up in your bar at the top. Download complete. Do you want to install this? Yeah, you click next. Install. Alright, okay. Done. Go back to my home page. Going to click. It's there now. It's app droid. You just hit that like that. And you're just going to click OK. And here it goes. This is the basic layout. It brings up um, apps for that are paid apps nearly every day. It, it just releases apps. Also, you can search for basically anything. For instance, um, if I just go back to my main page and go on the Play Store, obviously today is the 12th of February 2014, and the top paid app is Minecraft Pocket Edition. Also, you've got the Swift key, the chase, that sort of thing. Minecraft Pocket Edition is five quid, which is definitely quite a lot to play for an app application anyway. So, you know, just go on here, hit the search. Sometimes this happens, it brings up advertisements and stuff. So you just want to keep hitting the back button and then it'll take you back to it eventually. There you go. You're going to type in um, Minecraft. When you get to like mine, it'll come up. Minecraft Pocket Edition. There you go. And it'll say, bring it up as pictures if you just want to have a quick look. Yeah. 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 Oh, there you go. Uh, you just click download app. Normally it's just the green link, the one that's just there. You click that. Uh, it's gonna, it'll bring you to one of these stupid pages, but. You know it's doing it because it'll come up with the thing in your taskbar. And you could tap to install. It'll say all this it does installing. Shouldn't take too long. There you go. Just click done. Uh, right, go back. Where is it? Uh, it's there. Minecraft Pocket Edition. Let's turn that on its side. Just to show you, you can go on it. I'm not entirely sure how you do things. There you go. Creative, generate world. Generating terrain. And it's just going to... There you go. Yeah, it's just... There you go. It's a legitimate app. Um, no. Most of the apps are going to work that you find on there. Like I said, you have the latest apps as well, which you just go off here. And oh, advertisements are quite a nuisance on it, to be honest. There you go. And it's just going to bring up these, for instance. You've got like Eva, Siri for Android. Yeah, you just get these. But either way, it's going to save you money in applications. So. If you found this tutorial useful, guys, please comment, rate, and subscribe the video. And thank you for watching.